Well, cockfighting has long been a continuous problem in Kentucky, one that law enforcement has always had an issue getting a hold of. But as Jane Davenport shows us tonight, one group has made a mission out of exposing this deadly game. This is a typical summer night in Whitesburg. These are birds that are, uh, um, they're bred for aggression. They have, uh, they, they're, they're drugged up. They have razor sharp, deadly weapons attached to their legs. Cockfighting has been around for decades. Steve Hindi with Shark or Show Animals Kindness and Respect says he sees a lot of operations happening right here in the Commonwealth. It's not just a matter of the animal cruelty. That would be more than enough for us. But you've got an entire criminal element involved. I mean, you know, the weapons, the drugs. Shark helped uncover this cockfighting ring in Letcher County and gave ABC 36 the video. It's known as the Whitesburg Chicken Pit. Six people were indicted on animal fighting charges from this specific event back in July of 2023. I'm frankly appalled that the judge let this guy off so easily. Recently on December 6th, the judge sentenced the owner of the Whitesburg chicken pit to two years probation and ordered him to pay a $2,600 fine. These people are intoxicated. They're addicted. I use the word addicted with cockfighting regularly because they are addicted to the blood sport. They're addicted to the gambling. They're addicted to the weapons. Weapons known as gaffs, which Hindi describes as sharp ice picks attached to the bird's ankles to help them kill their opponent more effectively. And the gaff fights tend to take longer because the birds can take more stabbing than they can take a serious deep slice. While these animals fight to the death, people who attend the event bet on the birds, go to concession stands, and even buy their own animal fighting accessories. Shark sends in undercover investigators to collect evidence to show to law enforcement. Their goal is to raise awareness and help stop animal abuse in all forms. You don't have to be an animal lover. You just have to have some kind of heart and some kind of conscience to look at this and go, wow, man, that's just not right. A mission they'll continue to fight for. Jane Davenport, ABC 36 News Now.